Hello, beautiful people of the internet. So today I'm going to get personal with you because I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my bag. And if you guys know girls, we typically hate people going through our bag, but today I wanted to do this kind of throwback beauty video and just tell you guys everything about what I keep in here on a daily basis. So let's get into it. To start, I just want to give you guys a little introduction to this bag. This is actually from Free People because everything in my closet is from Free People and it's called the Alexa Vegan Satchel Bag and I will link it down below. I don't think that they have this color online right now, but they do have two other really cool ones and I am just upset with this bag one it's only $68 so it is super affordable it's also super durable and well made but it just is the most like handy perfect size bag that is also really cute and people always compliment me on it so for $68 I think that you can't get something better than this guy although I'll admit I've had him for just a little bit now so I kind of want to try out a new bag already, but when you have a bag under $100, I think you can kind of make that decision. But anyway, back to this bag. This is a satchel bag, so it has these two little handles that I use to carry around my bag if I want to keep it really close to me or if I don't want to put it on my shoulder because it's too heavy that day. And then it also comes with the long strap that goes over your shoulder. I can wear it crossbody if I want or I can just wear it to the side. I do both. I do have this little fur pom-pom. It's a faux fur pom-pom. This is actually also from Free People because I just thought theirs were the nicest ones that were at a low price point for me and that were faux fur. I got it in pink because I thought the pink and the blue kind of went cool together. Um, so yeah, that's what that guy is. And then the bag itself has a ton of zippers. So there are zippers running down the sides of the bag that are just a kind of detail effect that you can open, but they don't do anything. Um, and then there's the, the zipper on the top of the bag and the zipper in the front of the bag that actually is a pocket. So starting with what's up here, I actually have some really funky stuff up here. Um, I keep, I have, I don't keep, um, I have little plastic gloves because I was actually serving food one day for a club that I work with and um, I knew that no one else was going to bring plastic gloves and since I'm a germaphobe, I decided to bring my own um, and I brought extras, so I've just kind of kept them in there. Just so that way my hands weren't touching the food that other people were going to eat. I also have up here a ticket for a event that I went to. I have a tissue and I put my credit card in there, which I'm not going to show you guys. This pocket is kind of what I consider like my go-to pocket if I want to stash something in there really quickly that I don't want floating around the rest of my bag. So like the reason why my credit card was in this pocket was because I was taking the subway yesterday and I just wanted to have my credit card and my subway card at a very easy access point for myself, but that other people wouldn't necessarily go into because it has a zipper it's secure and things like that so it just made it easy for me to find and easy to put away so getting in to the body of my bag I have lots of stuff in here so let's just talk about my little pocket up here that does also have a zipper so it can stay sealed I like to keep kind of the necessity items in there as well as I guess some other randomness so I have two tampons because I'm a girl and you never know. Well, I mean, you know when that time of month is gonna come, but you never know when you'll forget that that time of month is coming and then you will be screwed if you don't just have a couple in your bag. So I keep those all throughout my bag, honestly. Then I have a little container of Neosporin because I get cut a lot. I actually have another ticket in here from when I was in Vegas over a year ago. Well, not over a year ago, but like half a year ago. A Bloomingdale's little yogurt card because I get yogurt a lot. As you can tell, I didn't really clean out my bag before this. I also have a packet of um, extra strength non-aspirin. So in case I get a headache, I also have a stack, a pretty large stack of Band-Aid blister, um, I don't know if they're actually, if they have a specific name, but they're the blister band-aids. Basically, they're little, like almost rubberized band-aids that seal themselves to the blister and prevent blisters from getting worse or from fully forming. So they're really helpful and they keep me in my shoes longer. And the last thing that I keep in that little pocket is a lip balm and it's the Smith's Rosebud Self Balm. I like to keep it in the pocket so it doesn't get all dirty 
but I have chapped lips 100% of the time, so a lip balm is always handy for me. And I'll admit it's not the only one that you're gonna see in here, but I need a lot in case if I lose one. The next thing that I have in my bag at all times is my bullet journal and my bullet journal pen. So this is my bullet journal for 2017. I have just started bullet journaling and I'm not the best at it, but it's a really kind of fun and crafty thing that I can do on a daily basis that I love and it works as a journal for me with a little more flexibility. So this is a moleskin grid journal, and this is the pen, the pen that I like to use with it, which is just a Sharpie uh, fine tip pen, not a Sharpie marker, but a pen in the black color. And like, I'll just show you guys a sample page. So this is my index layout page. Obviously I have not kept up with it, but I can just draw in my index top or the day of the week that it is or whatever I need to do of a list. And I just kind of write everything in there. And the Sharpie pen is just the kind of um, line that I like to come out of my pen. And yeah, so. I keep this in my bag basically 24 seven unless I'm using it. I have two wallets in my bag because one is apparently not enough. This one is just a little cheapo card wallet that I got at Urban Outfitters that has moons on it. On the back, it has my ID. And then on the inside, I have different cards and credit cards that I need on a daily basis in here. Then in this bigger wallet, which is a Kate Spade, I think, ooh, I, I got, pen on it, that's not good. Um, I think it's just a Kate Spade like continental two-fold wallet, not a zip wallet because I actually don't like zip wallets. And in here, I just keep all of the other cards or like membership cards and things that I won't use on a daily basis. Like I have a home goods gift card in here right now. Um, so just stuff like that goes in here. And I like to keep this with me because there's a little change purse in here too. The next thing that I keep in my bag all the time is this little makeup bag. And this was one that I just got at Sephora. Um, it's one of the breakups to makeups bag, I guess. And it says contents of my life because duh. And when I open it up, let's see what I've got in here. I have my contact eye drops, a little L'Occitane almond hand cream. I have a Caudalie lip balm, two Bite Beauty matte cream lip pencils or lip crayons, a Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in Candy K, a Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lip shine in the shade Nudist, another tampon because like I said, you can never have enough of these, some Dramamine in case if I'm going in a long car ride and I'm starting to feel nauseous, my Rihanna Retro Matte Re-Re-Woo lipstick from MAC, another lipstick, this one's by Maybelline, another MAC lipstick in the shade Amorose, and a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works in a strawberry scent. And I like to keep all my makeup stuff in a little pouch, one, because it keeps everything in the same place that I can know where to find it, but it also keeps all of these things clean and sanitary in case if any kind of junk gets in my bag that I just don't want getting into my lipstick. Hanging around my bag, I have these headphones and I have to keep these on me at all times because I actually have the iPhone 7, which doesn't have a normal cord for headphones. So I need to keep this one on me at all times because it has a lightning cable. And if I lose this guy, then basically my life ends. He floats around a lot. I actually just saw that there's a little um, headphone pouch that you can get to attach to your bag. So I think I'm gonna get that because this guy just comes everywhere with me from the gym to class, to the train, and I just need him. I guess I put this in my bag when it was really hot one day. I don't know why I have it in my bag in the middle of winter, but it is just a uh, Vici, uh, thermal spa water. So I use this when it's really hot out and I just want to cool down a little bit. I always have a pair of sunglasses in my bag because I have super sensitive eyes, especially because of my contacts. So in here right now, I just have my Ray-Ban Gatsby sunglasses because I think that these look so cool and I feel like such a hipster and the owl guy from Gatsby. I don't know why not Gatsby himself, but it reminds me of owl eyes in the Gatsby book. These are just the coolest sunglasses ever. And of course I keep them in their case because I don't want these to get scratched up because no one wants to wear scratched up sunglasses. This is something that has probably been in all of my what's in my bag videos, which is just my backup charger and I keep it in a little pouch that I got when shopping one day. This thing looks so dingy at this point, but it is an in-case 
backup charger and it gets me like a full charge and a half I want to say and then I keep a mini lightning cable this is from Amazon and it was probably ten dollars and the best ten dollars that I've ever spent because it's a three inch cable and one thing that I hate is carrying a backup charger with a three foot cable around with you or even a six foot cable because those are the ones that I like to buy so having this little pocket sized one means that I can just hold the charger and my phone in one hand and not have this huge cord hanging out and if I ever just need to plug in my phone somewhere like to a laptop it's just a nice convenient little cord then I just have some expo markers pens and some highlighters in there because I am a student and they need those things on a daily basis the expo marker not really but the last thing that I have to show you guys in my bag and then it is empty is probably the weirdest thing in my bag to you guys which is a little flushable moist wipe so the story behind this is that I actually went to a outdoor music festival earlier this year I actually filmed like a get ready with me for it and I thought ahead and realized that they wouldn't have bathrooms there they would only have um porta potties luckily I held it in and I did not use the bathroom for the whole day because I was just too grossed out but I figured just in case if I did I wanted to bring little wet wipes with me so these are flushable ones they're alcohol free so they're safe to use in your bottom area and then I also at the time got wet wipes to sanitize my hands as well but I used all those up because I'm a germaphobe and I need to buy some more but I do keep one of these in my bag I guess at all times because why not right if I have them I might as well carry them around and I don't I haven't actually used them for their purpose but I have used them to clean my hands if I'm out and my hands just have a gross feeling or I ha I once dropped my jacket when I was out and it fell into like a puddle of some of sorts and I just use this to wipe down the jacket afterwards because I was a little freaked out so yeah that has been my bag which is now the emptiest that it has been since I bought it if you guys again want to find this bag yourself you can go ahead and check the comment section or the description bar down below where I will link the bag so yeah I hope that you guys like this video if you guys want to see more videos from me make sure that you click the button to subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what you keep in your bag and what video you want to see from me next so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye and if you guys want to see one of the previous videos that I filmed you can go ahead and click on those videos now or click on my face to subscribe